So I had a few friends over the other day and they noticed my workbench and they said, how do you keep it so immaculate? You've got like no scratches or cuts on it. Don't you use it at all? So today I decided to let you in on a little secret on how I keep my workbench from getting beat up and looking worn out. What I do is I lay a self-healing cutting mat over the top of my stainless steel counter. This allows me to cut on it, chop on it, whatever I want to do, and the self-healing mat takes away all the nicks and scratches so I can keep my tabletop looking new. Now you can purchase these at Michael's Arts and Crafts or any fabric store, but I went ahead and bought mine online so I could get the largest possible one and to ensure that I got a black one as well. The first thing you're going to do is measure the width of your workbench. Then you're going to flip it over so after you make your cut, the rough edge will be against the workbench and not be visible from the front. Okay, so now you're going to take the measurement you had and you're going to measure your mat, except this time you're going to subtract a quarter of an inch. That's right, subtract a quarter of an inch. Uh, in my past experience, you don't want anything hanging over the edge of the table or you don't want it flush with the edge of the countertop. So subtract a quarter of an inch and then make your marks. From your marks, just go ahead and draw out a straight line. Uh, make sure you're doing it on the back side that won't be showing. That's why my green side is up right now uh, because black will be up when I'm finished. Okay, so at this point I'm assuming you do not have a bandsaw in your garage. So what I want you to do is find yourself a straight board that you will use as your cutting guide. Okay, to cut this I'm going to be using my DeWalt cordless jigsaw with a fine metal cutting blade. The reason for the metal blade is because that the mat has a thin layer of metal sandwiched between the rubber. Okay, I do this the lazy way. Instead of actually measuring from the blade to the end of my jigsaw, I just go ahead and line up the blade with the mark and then slide the board to the side of the jigsaw and clamp it down. And I do that on both sides. And since the mat is a grid, all the marks across it are pretty much even. You can go ahead and use the same mark on the opposite side to make sure your board is aligned. And then you just clamp that side down. And also remember to take out the yardstick you left under it for support. Uh, you don't want to end up cutting it in half. And then just make your cut using the board you've clamped down as a guide. Okay, so for those of you who do have a bandsaw, I'll throw this in there. You can just make your cut on the bandsaw, stay on the line you've drawn, and, and rip it through the bandsaw. Much quicker process. Okay, and then the last step, you just grab a small piece of sandpaper, and you sand down the roughness of the mat before you flip it over. Okay, and that's it. So now you have a professional looking workbench top that is cut and nick resistant and cleans up really easy. Okay, so let me demonstrate real quick. Uh, the piece of paper that came with the mat, I'm going to cut up real quick. And you can see that it makes cutting pretty easy. Uh, one of the other benefits of not marking up your table or scratching your table or leaving cut marks in your table is that it keeps your blades sharp longer. The mat does not dull your blades as quick as the metal on the table would. Okay, and so instead of just throwing away the leftover pieces, you can do like I did and you can cut them to fit 
your toolbox. Uh, I have a Craftsman's toolbox. It's over 30 years old. Try to keep it in great shape, but this will actually help protect it as well. So cut them to fit, and that way you don't have to waste any of the material. So if any of you guys try this project, I'd love to hear how yours came out. Uh, just shoot me a note. All right, thanks for watching.